Hi writers and welcome to this video on Natalie Goldberg's story titled Be an Animal from her book Wild Mind. I'll be reading the story and you can follow along. You can either do pointing technique in your journal and talk to the text as I'm reading it or you can do that on your own if you've printed it out. Here we go. When you are not writing, you are a writer too. It doesn't leave you. Walk with an animal walk and take in everything around you as prey. Use your senses as an animal does. Watch a cat when he sees something moving in the room. He is perfectly still and at the same time he, his every sense is alive, watching, listening, smelling. This is how you should be when you are in the streets. The cat's mind is not thinking about how much money he needs or whom to write a postcard to when he visits Florence. He's watching the mouse or the marble rolling across the floor or the light reflecting in crystal. He is ready with all of him to pounce. Now you don't have to get down on all fours and twitch your tail. Only be still, some part of you at least, and know where you are, no matter how busy you are. My friend who went with me to Europe had a phobia of getting lost. She'd never learned to read a city map or pick up simple signals like, we were in this piazza yesterday. There across the street is the Savoy Hotel where we bought concert tickets, so that must be the turn. Because she was scared, she lost all touch with her common sense, with the natural senses that we rely on as our survival tools. That place in us is aware and always awake. Katagiri Roshi says, you are a Buddha right now. Only we forget when we are busy or frightened, as my friend was. Afraid of being lost, she became lost. As writers, we have to walk in the world in touch with that present, alert part of ourselves, that animal sense part that looks, sees, and notices. Street signs, corners, fire hydrants, newspaper stands. Also, right bef before you are planning to write, a good preparation is to become an animal. Move slowly, stalking your prey, which is whatever you plan to write about, no matter what else you might be doing at the moment. Taking out the garbage, walking to the library, watering the garden. Turn off your logical mind, empty, no thoughts. Let your words come from your belly. Bring your brain down to your stomach and digest your thoughts. Let them give nourishment to your body. Have a round belly, like the Buddha, breathing all the way inside. Don't hold in your stomach. Be patient and measured. Let the writing percolate below the level of thought forms in the subconscious and through your veins. Then, when you finally pounce, let's say at 10 a.m., your designated time to write that day, Add the pressure of timed writing. Write for an hour or 20 minutes, whatever amount you decide, but write for all it's worth. Keep your hand moving. Pour out everything straight from your veins, through the pen and on to paper. Don't stop. Don't doodle. Don't, don't daydream. Write until you're spent. But don't worry. This isn't your last chance. If you miss the mouse today, you'll get it tomorrow. You never leave who you are. If you are a writer when writing, you are also a writer when you are cooking, sleeping, walking. And if you are a mother, a painter, a horse, a giraffe, or a carpenter, you will bring that into your writing too. It comes with you. You can't divorce yourself from parts of yourself. Best to come to writing whole with everything in you. And when you are done writing, best to walk out into the streets with everything you are, including your common sense or Buddha nature, something good at the center to tell you the names of the streets so you don't get lost, something to tell you you can come back to your writing tomorrow and stay with your writing in the hours in between, when you are an animal out stalking the city. I hope you enjoyed the reading. Think about what kind of animal you are. What kind of writer animal are you? Are you a, a herbivore, an omnivore? What are your senses telling you? Take a minute, close your eyes, put your right hand on your belly and your left hand on your heart. Inhale deeply all the way down your throat 
past your heart chakra, feeling your chest rise, way down and through past your stomach, past your belly, and feel your belly round as you inhale. And then exhale, let it all out. Be an Animal by Natalie Goldberg. <laughs>